Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for a very late video. I know I've been saying this for almost over last year and this year is not starting easier anyway. So we are in the end of January and this is the first video of 2023 that I make, I guess so. So sorry about that, but life gets in the way and I need to really manage my personal life and this other life about pens and YouTube and I'm just struggling a little bit. I hope someday it will be a little better, but I don't want to stop making these videos because I like them. So today I'm here to show you the pens that I received during December 2022. So it is quite late that this video is arriving, but Anyway, I hope it's better later or late than never. And let's start. So during December, I received uh, seven pens and I will show them to you. The first pen that I received, the first that I'm going to show you, not necessarily the first that I received, it is this one. This is the Joya Capo de Monte Van Gogh. I know that in Dutch you say it differently. I'm saying with the Portuguese pronunciation we, and we say Van Gogh. So that's the most I can do it. Um, so this is a pen, an interesting pen, uh, quite big, a piston filler, but those like this and have a blind cap and an interesting pen with a steel nib a number six marked joya it is a fine nib it has some sheen now on the on the feed which i think it is made of ebonite but i'm not completely sure and the pen is quite interesting so this is a review that i need to make someday and I think this is an interesting pen with this kind of design. For comparison, because in these videos I always like to make comparisons, at least comparing each pen with other two, I have here the Leonardo Ficina Italiana Furore Grande, and the color is Positano Blue or Blue Positano, I'm not sure. And you can see it has some similarities in regarding the shape, although the Leonardo is much maybe almost one centimeter longer. It has a differently shaped section. It is also a, a piston filler, but this one, this is the piston knob, not the blind cap. And the nibs are kind of similar because I think they are both number six Yovo nibs. But the nib on the Leonardo is much higher than the the nib on the Joya. So they have some, similar, some similarities, some differences. Both have this ring next to the nib, but then this one has a metal thread. So there are some differences. I will discuss them when I make the review. This is a very interesting pen and it is quite pleasant to use. And I've been using it a little bit and I'm I'm really interested in that, I, I like. This one has a beautiful finish, this Blue Positano, but this Van Gogh is also interesting and in some parts it is really transparent and what you're seeing is the, I would say, the brass tube that is inserted here where the piston runs. So, an interesting pen. And also for some comparison, I also brought here my a pen that is discontinued. This is the Senator President and the Senator President. It is kind of the same shape, kind of same concept. Also piston filler with a blind cap, not the piston knob itself. And then you have also a number six nib and of course these size of pen could have a bigger nib but number six i think it's quite common in this pen so i would say this is the comparison that i would make for this this is shorter but 
it really fits well in the hand and I'm quite happy with the writing experience I get out of this pen. Now, the next pens, there are three pens, actually there are four pens, four Caveco pens that I bought from the same seller because I wanted one, maybe two. Uh, it happened that only one really interested me, but I have the other ones that will be as spares when he's going to my work uh, place and will be staying there quietly uh, for me to write when in those days where I forget to bring a fountain pen with me. So it will be my working pen. And these pens are three of them, the Caveco Ice Sport Blue, discontinued, the Caveco Ice Sport Red and the Caveco uh, Classic Sport Transparent. This is a classic sport because it has a gold uh, plating on the, the top, on the nib and also gold engraving on the cap saying Caveco Sport. This one has some, some uh, water inside between the, the, the nib collar and the section. It's not that pretty, they were very very dirty because they were used as eyedroppers. This one is still a little bit dirty, I didn't clean it. It has some small thin o-rings there. And this one is already clean and in working condition. And this is one that's going to my work office. The Caveco Ice Sport Blue was my first Caveco Sport fountain pen ever. So I bought all these. This was being used as an eyedropper and I thought it could be that very rare version of uh, an all blue pen um, that was released at some time. There was one marked as Microsoft and the other one was not marked as Microsoft, but it was not, it was just blue ink, but I had to risk it. There was not much of a description and I, I just had to try it. Also from the same seller. Okay, let me just, because I'm showing you these, I think it makes sense to show you some okay, with the blue I will put the green and the black with the red I will put the pink and orange and with the classic sport transparent I will bring the transparent by diplomat as you can see there this is quite rare and an older version and you have here also the black crystal which is the same pen but with black engravings black medallion on top and black nib so just for some comparison purposes and i think this is quite interesting not really new to me that was I cannot say it was unfortunate, it's just, just like, I, it's not even bad luck. I just, I just didn't, I just wasn't lucky. Sometimes we are lucky and we find stuff that are really amazing just because they are not, the picture is not good. Sometimes it doesn't work in our benefit and that's okay. Sometimes that happens. But also from this seller, I had this one that I, just needed to find. I, ne I didn't contact Kavec yet to ask them when this pen was released, but it is for the Nuremberg focus, please. Nuremberg Pen Show. I think you can see clearly there. It is a Caveco Skyline Sport in grey. And just for Comparison purposes, you have here the Caveco Skyline Sport Grey, the regular one, and it is exactly the same color. And the Caveco Skyline Sport Black, also kind of a regular pen. And you can see this is really grey, not black, and they are made with the same. They are actually the same pen, but this one has a different engraving. It has Caveco Sport in silver, and on the opposite facet it has Nuremberg pen show. So this is the big difference. 
And for the final Caveco of December, I have this Sapphire Blue from Galen Leather, which is a beautiful transparent pen. It is quite light colored. I need to also to, to, to write with it. I think it's really nice. It is a very different blue from the Ice Sport. You can see the this is a much darker. So it's nice that's not almost the same color, though it's really different. And also the Ice Sport has a clear barrel. This one has it is all the same color. So it is a very nice color. And for comparison, I will bring here the other two Galen Leather exclusives from previous years. This is the Cognac color, which is a color very sought after, and also the violet or purple. They are the three pens are transparent, as you can see, or translucent, and they are really, really nice and interesting colors. I'm really happy with this one. They all these Galen Leather have gold color, so they are all classic sport pens. I think I it was a nice Kavec sport month because I got two that I didn't have in my collection of course because this was just a new release this one this one was some older one and I'm quite happy about that even if these are not the the ones that I wanted for me but after they will be clean maybe these can used for trading with someone for exchange with something that I I really need or just for a small giveaway it's someone at work that wants to try a fountain pen i can after they are clean they are good enough just if someone wants to dive into fountain pen uh, universe or even in kavec world which is kind of a, an addictive uh, world as i no, and most of you know also, but for me it's really addictive because it is something endless. I have almost 200 Kavec Sport pens. So, let's go for the final pen, and we have here, just to, to go back, this is an Italian pen, the Gioia. The five Kavec pens which are German, although this one is a special edition for Galen Leather in Turkey, but it is a, a German pen. And finally, we have a Japanese pen that I needed to have. And it is this one. This is the Platinum 3776 10th Anniversary. Because there is the Kavec, the, sorry, not Kavec, the Platinum 3776, which is a very famous model. I don't have the regular one. I, I think I will have to buy one. Not that I wanted that much. I, I think I don't need another platinum pen just to try uh, how it writes, but I think it will make sense to have this complete, kind of complete collection. So to have a regular 3776, I don't have it. So they have these rounded tops. This one has the 10th edition. It has a serial number here on the bottom. And it has a different nib from usual, as you can see. It is a cartridge converter pen. I bought the M nib and this pen writes wonderfully. It's really, really a nice pen. Let me just show you some for comparison and the, the ones that really are the reason that made me buy this one. And so in December, all these pens were bought by myself. They are not gifts or samples for review. I have this one, which is the Platinum 3776 Gathered in Black. There was, it was also made at least in Bordeaux, in Burgundy. Uh, so let me go back a little bit. When the... Uh, platinum 3776 model was released and I guess it was in 1978 because I think it was in my birth year no I'm not I'm no longer sure but I think it, it was it was made in this version it was slightly different back then but just slightly different but it is this is the kind of a modern version of that pen that was made until very recently as far as I know it, it has been discontinued 
and it is the uh, 3776. It's scattered because that's the name they give to these things, these ridges. Um, this is not the sentry model. The sentry model is the one with the domes. This one is a click capping pen. So it's different from the, uh, the sentry model, which is a screw fit pen. But as you can see, although this is a reference to the 3776 sentry, they actually made a reference to the 3776 not century the older one the kind of the original one so it's kind of strange the strange option but i think it was fun to have the same kind of thing when i look at both pens i would say this is more similar with these 3776 gathered than with the 3776 century but this is an option it is a valid one the only big difference is the screw cap let me just show you the nib for comparison because the nib on the 3776 century the regular one the regular edition is this nib this version and this one was a new nib created for this pen i've seen written somewhere that this nib will be uh, will start to be on the other Platinum 3776 three, pens, Sentry pens, I'm not sure, but this is what I'm... this is the, the, the regular nib, and so I think uh, now I need to have the, the other one. And just for a uh, further comparison, I have also, which is also an extra motivation to get this pen, was this one which is the platinum glamour which is a very strange pen it is a shrinked and fatter version of three the 3776 gather this is platinum glamour and it has a very wide nib regarding the shoulders kind of, it's kind of a cartoon of a pen these are all cartridge converter pens this is also but this takes international cartridges and not platinum specific cartridges because they are too long to fit here and you can see this is an interesting pen it has it is the same design as this one but with very different and kind of comical proportions but you can see they are really the same let me cap this one again this is very fat and small no uh, sorry, I don't want to force anything and I get, I'm get i getting a little bit confused. I don't want to mess anything. So I think you can see some kind of evolution here. And I would say the missing link here would be the regular Platinum 3776 Sentry, which has rounded ends but makes the transition between this and that with the threaded cap so it's the biggest difference and i think this is really interesting i need to to get one of those but sometimes we need to check our wallet and think if it makes sense to spend more money right now on more pens so this I, i'll make the review of this one someday soon i wish i had the 3776 century to make uh, a more interesting comparison i already had one once from from uh, apple boom as a loan but i don't have it anymore so we'll see how we'll fix that this is these were the seven pens that i got last month in december 2022 and now we are in january 2023 and let's see what is coming now i there are a couple of things that i already received but i didn't have the time and i made the unboxing videos i didn't have the time to edit them and to post them so i think they will be included in the february videos
sorry about that but i really want to put here some more content i know that some unboxing videos are more kind of entertainment and not that much information but i think all this is important for the channel so i will put these videos out someday i cannot promise any regular rhythm right now but i'm not quitting youtube yet so this is all i had to show you today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe share do whatever you want and i hope you enjoyed and i hope to meet you here soon again on the channel so see you next video bye